The past year was highlighted by building momentum, increasing maturity, and meeting F-35 program milestones. It was also a year which saw an expansion of the F-35 enterprise around the world. Luke Air Force Base, Arizona received its first of more than 140 aircraft as it becomes the home of F-35 pilot training for all U.S., international partners, and foreign military sales customers. This included Australia's first two F-35As, which rolled out of the Fort Worth, Texas production facility in August and were delivered to Luke in December. Squadron leader Andrew Jackson, Australia's first F-35 pilot, began his training at Eglin Air Force Base, Florida in January and will transition to Luke as an instructor pilot later this year. Currently, a total of nine bases are flying more than 120 aircraft. This milestone sets the stage for the next five years, when the program will operate 17 bases, including Australia's first F-35 base in 2018. At the Fort Worth, Texas production facility, 36 aircraft were delivered during the past year to U.S. and international customers. In addition to meeting its aircraft production goal, the program now has more than 150 trained pilots and over 1,600 trained maintainers. This momentum builds a foundation for 2015, when the program will see its first aircraft delivered to Norway, along with its first F-35 rollout from the final assembly and checkout in Camry, Italy. It was another strong year for the F-35 flight test program, highlighted by the first ever F-35 sea trials aboard the USS Nimitz with 100% success. The year was punctuated with a series of successful weapons drops, and between flight testing and operational testing, the program surpassed 26,000 flight hours. 2014 included increased support and participation from its international partners, with Australia leading the way, with contributions such as the first of more than 700 planned vertical tails built by Morand. Quick Step's vertical tail skins began critical parts qualifications and are scheduled to complete with production deliveries later this year. Detailed machine parts and assembly contracts for LREP 7 through 9 were awarded to Lovett, Levitt, and Farah. Farah was also awarded the weapons adapter contract for LRIP 6 and 7 and is on target to produce 90% of all F-35 weapons adapters. Australian industry has already secured more than $430 million in F-35 industrial participation contracts and was rewarded again when the U.S. Department of Defense chose Australia to provide future maintenance, repair, overhaul, and upgrade support to both F-35 airframes and engines throughout the Asia-Pacific region. The F-35 program continues to reduce costs on all fronts, including production and sustainment. With the latest production contract, the cost of an F-35 was reduced for the eighth consecutive year, including the F-35A, which the Australian Air Force is currently flying. The overall maintainability and reliability rates of the F-35 are increasing, which will further drive down costs in the future. The highlight of 2014 was the announcement of the program's Blueprint for Affordability, which ensures the cost of a fifth-generation F-35 will be equal to that of a fourth-generation F-16 by the end of the decade. The F-35 program is ready for the future. After wrapping up a very successful 2014, the 12 nations, more than 15,000 people, and 1,300 suppliers around the world who make this program strong stand ready for 2015.